Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve this fourth question of exercise 1.3 and the question says you have to express point 0.999999 and so on in the form of P upon Q. Are you surprised by your answer? Now, I have already discussed in the previous video that if there is a decimal expansion that is non-terminating and repeating to convert this into in a form of P upon Q so you have to consider this equation first of all as equals to X now because there is only one decimal oh sorry there is only one digit that is repeating so this is first equation so you have to multiply this first equation with 10 so multiplying this with 10 that will be equals to 10 equals to 9 and when this number is multiplied with 10 so this will be 9.9999 and so on this will be our second equation because whenever a number is multiplied by 10 the decimal is shifted to the right hand side so it will shift one, de uh, one digit to the right side now you, you have to subtract these two so 10 minus 1 will be 9x and from this if 0.99999 is subtracted so only 9 will remain so it will be equals to 9 so the value of x will be 9 upon 9 that will be equals to 1 or you can say that the value of this will be equals to 1 and uh, this is in the form of p upon q so that is 9 upon 9 or you can say 1 upon 1 now are you surprised by your answer for that this is 0.9999999 that will be very close to 1 if i am saying it is 0.5555555 so obviously this will be very close to 6 similarly if that is 0.999999 that will be very close to 1 because this is still infinity so because this expression will be very close to 1 that is why your answer is 1 for this particular, particular question so this is how you can convert this into in the form of p upon q and because this is very close to 1 that is 99999 till infinity so this expression can be written as equals to 1 or you can say the value of this will be equals to 1 so this is how you can solve this particular question i hope you have understood how to solve this if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number the email address and the whatsapp number is given below in the description thank you